say they'd feel more attractive, they'd feel sexy, they'd feel confident. Hi everyone, it's Leslie Morrison here from LM Fitness and I just wanted to do a video today um, to talk to you a little bit about motivation really because obviously when we want to lose weight, when we want to get fit, when we want to improve our health, our diet, whatever it is, we start with this abundance of motivation to get going and it very quickly peters off and fizzles out and leaves us kind of just going, well, I don't want to go to the gym today or I don't want to eat that green stuff today or, you know, you lose your motivation very, very quickly. And there is a reason for this, which is what I want to talk about today. So, obviously you can see on the board why motivation isn't enough. And I want you to kind of think, um, like how many times a day do you actually, you see sort of like a meme on Twitter or Instagram or, or Facebook or Pinterest or somewhere like that, that, that gives you like this motivational blurb. Uh, and it's, you know, we, it, us personal trainers and, and people like us, we're the ones that pump them out there. Um, you know, things like be stronger than your strongest, be stronger than your excuses or, or you know, whatever, those kind of things. And you might see them and they might make you stop for a moment and, and take a look and smile and think, yeah, I can do that. And then you have your coffee, you go off to work. And um, within an hour or so of being at work, you've completely forgotten what that little meme said that you, 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 know, you stopped and looked at an hour or so ago. And that's because it hasn't got any personal relevance to you. So although... Yes, for that brief moment that you see it, you go, yes, that's me, I can do that, I can be stronger than my excuses. It isn't going to impact you, impact on you, impact anything relevant to you. So it becomes unimportant. It, it loses its clouds because there's no, there's no link there. So basically, what motivation... Um, motivation is... It's an external, um, an external force. It's somebody else or something else telling you that you can do this. You're good enough to do this. You you can do whatever you want to do. You know, it is someone else's opinion. It's as I say, it's external. Okay, so there's no there's no personal relevance. There's no there's no impact to you to your life to your lifestyle so you forget about it and that's why your motivation it, it kind of goes starts up here and it's sort of like ooh, and just and slides down massively and rather quickly some sometimes as well so what we want to try and do is look for um how or what is going to give us inspiration so, if I write over here, inspiration, there's a difference. Technically, they're the same thing. Motivation and inspiration lead to the same thing. But there's two, well, one incredibly big difference between the two. And that is, as I say here, this one is external, whereas this one is internal, okay? So that is the difference. One is somebody else telling you you can do this, you've got it, be, put your big girl pants on, you can you can go out and do whatever you want. The second one, inspiration, is coming from in here, it's coming from inside of you, so it's, it's important to you. It, it relates to something that you care about. Um, and that gives it a massive, massive booster over this, over the motivation. So, when you're looking at, you know, why your motivation is failing you, it's because it's not relevant. This, you need to try and find your inspiration. Now, there's a very simple exercise that you can do to find your inspiration. Um, and I'm going to give you a little insight into it today on this video. Um, the full exercise is actually in shameless plug in my success diary, which you can get on Amazon. Um, but that is to ask yourself a very, very simple question. 
which is this. Now I've shortened this question because it was really, really long. But ask yourself um, this. I hope you can read this, by the way. Okay, so how would my life change if I achieved my goal? Okay, so how would my life change if I achieved my goal? Now, you can look at this in many ways, and there's many questions within this question. So you could look at, um, how would I feel? Um, how would it make me feel if I achieved my goal? What would I have in my life that I don't have now if I achieved my goal? Uh, you could say, uh, what would it give me? What would achieving my goal give me in my life? What would, how would it affect my overall life, my overall lifestyle, my overall life choices? How would it affect my wardrobe? How would it affect my job? How would it affect my relationships? How would it affect the, the people who are important to me? How would their lives change? Um, and where would my life then take me? What would it give me? What would it bring me? Where would I end up? So what you want to try and achieve with this, now this is the shortened version as I say, but you want to try and get around about 50 answers, okay? You want 50 reasons or 50 points as to how your life would change for the better, obviously, if you achieved your goal. Whether it's the promotion that you want at work that you suddenly get because you're feeling more confident. Now this is an exercise that I do with my PT clients, or a lot of my PT clients when we first start. We go through a bit of a mindset boot camp when we first start to try and bolster up the inspiration, get the goals set out, get everything in line ready before we start to tackle the, the real nitty gritty of nutrition and exercise and things like that. And it often comes up whenever I, because I'm, I'm mainly pride, 99% of my clients are female and middle aged and mums. so most of the time the reasons are actually very very similar from one person to the next but with their own personal links so a lot of them come to me and say they'd feel more attractive they'd feel sexy they'd feel confident they'd be able to overcome issues that they've got going on with their within their lives or within their within within their own heads within their mental state um they'd be able to you know feel more um more more sexy in the clothes that they're able to wear they'd be able to wear different kinds of clothes They'd have uh, better relationships with their partners. They'd have a, an improved sex life with their partners. You know, they'd be able to run around and play with their kids in the garden because they've got more energy, which is going to make them feel happier. And then their kids are going to have a good role model. Um, you know, you can. This list is endless. Now, I'm saying, give me fifty, or give yourself fifty reasons, fifty good points that are going to inspire you. When I do this with my clients, I ask for hundreds. I don't want ten or twenty or thirty. I want hundreds and we literally sit and bash this out for like an hour, hour and a half sometimes until we've got a point where that person is emotionally attached to this, this goal, this lifestyle that they're going to achieve. And that's what you need to do. You need to find that emotional connection with what your life would become because that is what's going to suddenly transform your motivation into inspiration and then inspiration into action okay so give your give your personal you know put, come up with your personal reasons that give you the inspiration and you know because of, because of its personal connection because of its emotional connection with you it's going to drive your actions it's going to drive your 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 oomph to go out and do the things that you need to do or to achieve the things that you want to do or you want to have and I tell you now, it makes such a huge difference to go from this person to this person and then to this person. Now, yes, as a personal trainer, we're put here and in our jobs to help people lose weight, help people eat healthy, help people exercise and become fitter. But ultimately, our job is to actually help people find their happiness, find their their point in life where they go I'm really happy now because I'm this and I'm that and I've got this and I'm that and it all comes down to being inspired enough to actually go and achieve the goals you want to do 
So make yourself more consistent in improving your health and improving your habits. You know, get the better results consistently. Feel the confidence boost that you're you're going to get when you when you achieve this point. But because this is personal, you're going to feel it. Because of that emotional connection, you're going to feel all of this stuff now. All of these reasons you're going to jot down, you feel them. And because you feel them, you start to believe in them and you want them more. And that is going to transform the actions that you take moving forward. Okay? So rather than kind of sitting there and going, oh, I just can't get motivated. I, 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 motivation is just like... Pfft gone, Blah. left the building, don't, you know, change your approach, change your style of thinking, change your, change your att attitude towards it, and start looking for the inspiration rather than that stuff, all right, so I hope that's really, really helped, go away and do the exercises, and please, but, you know, comment below and let me know how you get on with this exercise, and if it helps, um, or if you need some more help, you know, if you need a little bit more help with it, then, you know, reach out, talk to me, I don't mind, I'm happy to help people, but please like and subscribe, share the video as well, because this, this video is going to help loads of people. This, this little nugget of information is going to help loads of people. And like I say, the full exercise, the full series of exercises, so this is just one part of the Mindset Bootcamp. The full series of exercises are actually in the book. So if you want to try and do the full set without having to speak to me face to face or do one to one training or, or online coaching, grab a copy of the book from Amazon and just work your way through it step by step, because you've also got like a 365 day diary in there that you can keep notes in throughout your journey, okay? So, boom, job done. Um, like, subscribe, share, comment, all of that stuff. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and I'll see you all in the next video very, very soon. Take care, see you later, bye. Thanks for watching the video, really, really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to sit and listen to me blab on about stuff. Um, if you like the video, please make sure that you hit the like button. Also, please subscribe to the channel and check out all of the other videos that I've done about weight loss, about mindset, exercise, fitness in general. And also, check out some newer videos. So you've got a, an exercise and a recipe. So check them out. Whilst you're here as well, one more quick thing. Social media, come and follow me. You've got Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and the website. Make sure you come, make sure you interact and please leave a comment below if you've got any feedback. Take care and until the next video, see you soon.